Hi, welcome to the Healthy Habits. I was looking at the wrong edge of the camera then, it's up here. Healthy Habits at Home Cooking Show. So this is something like what we do in the Life Transformer Plan. In fact, everything that we've done this week has been, you know, the types of things that we do. It's keeping you focused, keeping you motivated, not just on doing your exercises, but eating healthy food, having routines, doing things that are amazing for you and making you feel um, full of energy, happy, proud of yourself. So many people are living with, you know, feelings of, of not good enough not feeling worthy, wanting to change, wanting to boost their confidence. And this is everything that we do in the Life Transformer plan. So, you know, being happy and healthy isn't about the weighing skills, guys. In fact, being obsessed over that is actually very unhealthy. And I want to improve everybody's relationship with, you know, themselves, just their life and know that numbers do not um, determine your worth. Okay. There are far more important things we should be focusing on uh, for us to feel like we're achieving and being successful. So today, what we're going to be doing, um, I, I'm not as organized as I wanted to be. After I did the live earlier on, I'm filming a series with the swan. So I've just done that. Uh, kick the boys out the back. So they'll probably join us at some point. But then that's life. You know, we're all stuck at home with our families. And we. Um, so what we're going to be doing now, I'm going to just be, I'm not, I'm not teaching you how to boil eggs, of course. But what this is doing is just providing a bit of accountability. And every Sunday, I don't do it every Sunday day and again life isn't perfect if you have a look at my healthy habits sheet up for there um house chores didn't get done all week apart from yesterday we did some um so you know it's just doing the best we can that's what it's all about so we're gonna boil some eggs i'm gonna chuck some stuff in the slow cooker to make the potato and pea curry and then we've got the beef black eye bean and red pepper stew that we're going to be doing as well. Just preparing some meals. Um, when we've done these, they've been done in 28 minutes, 30 minutes. And like a lot of the girls have said, oh my word, I could spend this much time every single day thinking about what to eat, having what to eat. When you can't be bothered, you end up eating crap because you can't be bothered to make anything. Whereas if you invest half an hour on any day, we do it on a Sunday when we're in um, our other routines, but at the moment now, we have to be flexible and adapt. So, you know, getting a delivery of food. I shared in the Life Transformer plan earlier, actually, um, a link to um, a website, which is off the beaten track. It's not your typical um, thing. It's called Muscle Food, so fitness people know about it, but they do hampers of meat and vegetables, and they're delivering well as well. So um, I'll share that with you guys. But, you know, so we need to be doing these types of things when we get a delivery of food, let's get organized let's get some eggs boiled let's get some meals done they can go in plastic containers in the fridge and all you've got to do then is grab them know what you're having and this can help you because right now you can still have your weight loss goals as a thing you can still have your health goals as a, as a thing it is so important right now that we do this anyway i can keep on talking as we do the food so what i'm going to do first of all guys is put the eggs on to boil okay so let's get the um uh heat on here. Now, you're going to notice, guys, that I'm completely winging this, as we all are in life. Um, I'm going to boil the kettle now. And we can just, you know, roll with it. Just go with it, isn't it? I put the wrong pot on there. Okay, so while um, I'm waiting for the kettle to boil there, I'm just going to peel a load of the potatoes that are going to go into the slow cooker. Um, I was hoping that I would have got this done before um, coming on here, but I suppose the longer I do this, the more we've got a chance. And if you guys have got any questions, then please do ask them. I do hope you've enjoyed being part of the Healthy Habits at Home Week. And it's just number one, to help you create a routine from the start. We know there is a minimum of two weeks now that we're going to be in lockdown, and as we know it. Um, up there, I'll do this in there. Um, so, you know, you need to be starting as you need to go on. You need to be getting up in the morning, making your bed, having a plan for the day. Me, me and Deeks were talking earlier on that um, I'm chuffed that I've had the accountability of doing the live workouts for everybody because I said I was going to do it. So I showed up, I had to do it. And having that accountability makes you do things more. It's like my personal training clients, you know, they know that they've got to turn up. And I'm going to be introducing some small group sessions. I did some test ones with a lot of the girls the other day that absolutely loved it. Um, there were eight of us doing it. 
half an hour workout virtual from their homes and I know a lot of people struggle to get motivated to do their workouts so this means that you have to because you're going to show up it's like you've got to go to work because you know your, your boss expects you to so you've got to turn up for your workout because you, you booked it and you're expected to so it makes you do stuff doesn't it I think I can see is that Mandy watching over here now yes Mandy's watching Mandy joined in with the workouts Add a comment, girls, if you're watching right now when you joined in, let, let them know what it was like. Um, so yeah, you know, routine, we need to be making sure that we're getting up in the morning, having a workout, having a good breakfast, getting dressed and having some purpose in our day. Um, we are, have all got time now to do the things that we said we didn't have time to do before, so let's do it. Because otherwise we're just going to be living with excuses all of the time. Who wants to be like that? Like you guys need to think who do you want to be when you come out of all of this? Do you want to be better than when we came into it? Yes, you do. Okay, so um, I'm going to put the boiling water in here for the eggs. Okay, so once that's bubbling up, the eggs are going to go in. I'm going to put about 10 in. Um, I think Jill asked the other day how long um, to the eggs last. Now I prefer to actually peel the eggs straight away when they're warm because the shells literally fall off. Um, but and they last us about three days in our house. But I've read online that they can last up to a week. But uh, one of the girls in here is amazing and she's got the answer so uh, hopefully she can answer for us. But that was my answer on that one. Anyway, so I'm going to put 10 eggs in here now. One. Two, three. As you're watching this, girls, if you've got any questions, add them below. This is the last day of the Healthy Habits of Home Week. I would love to be able to do it longer, but the reality is for me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got exams starting next Monday, and um, of course, you know, these things do take up a lot of time, and I really must invest my time there. Okay, I'm going to put my timer on now. I'm going to cook them for eight minutes because that's how I like them but if you like them a little bit harder then crack on and do that. Okay so whilst they're boiling out I'm going to put the onions in the slow cooker. So these are three diced fresh ones. There's plenty in there. Uh, so so far I've uh, peeled four potatoes so just chuck those in there. I'm going to peel another four as I give you girlies some more tips. Anyway, so yeah, like I was saying, plan your meals. Because again, what I'm concerned that I see people doing now is having that holiday head on and drinking more, eating like goodies. Um, I'll be honest, me and Deeks last night were watching the TV. We were gutted that we didn't have any snacks to watch the TV with. And we can't just go up the shop and get them now. So um, we had nine Easter eggs here. We've got one left, so I'm going to have to end up buying loads of Easter eggs now online for my nieces and nephews, so but at least we have that, that's probably kept us happy and saying that we had some chocolate around. Okay, so yeah, plan your meals, you know, we've got enough thoughts going through our minds right now, let's do ourselves a favour and make things easier. Alright, so this curry that I'm going to be making is a potato and pea one. So it's going to be great if you're vegetarian or vegan too. Now I know some of you might be thinking, oh my word, Tara, that's carbs. Well, I'm glad to know that nobody is scared of carbs now because all they're doing is eating potatoes and pasta. But we do not need to be scared of them at all. Uh, it's our body's preferred source of fuel for energy but here's a little bit of science for you we have essential proteins that we must be eating okay every day to stay healthy and alive and there are essential fats as well which we need for our hormones and things to happen in our body and our brain and for us to be happy there are actually no essential carbohydrates however do not mistake that for not needing them because for optimal health 
we need to have a balance of carbohydrates for energy. Uh, they are yummy for starters. They will give us fiber and of course give us plenty of energy. But a lot of people probably do need to know them because we need to make sure that we've got plenty of protein in our meals to keep us full. If you are dieted and you want to lose weight, then eating protein at every meal is going to keep you fuller. So you don't ever have to think in your mind you have to go hungry if you're dieting or wanting to lose weight. It doesn't have to happen, okay? All right, onions are in there. I've peeled eight potatoes, so they've gone in there. I've got a lot of frozen peas now. So this is literally a case of unzip in the bag and putting them all in. In they go. So this is going to cover us for a good couple of days. Okay, next up. Now what you can do with these guys, okay, is you can experiment. You can add in um, cumin, uh, garlic, turmeric, um, all of those lovely things. I've got all of the spices here, okay, um, but I am lazy, lazy, lazy when it comes to cooking. I do not want to be doing all of that, so I'm just going to put in a curry powder. Now I'm going to put a mild one in because Danny is going to be enjoying this with us. There's a little bit of salt going in there now, some black pepper. Again, I'm lazy, I don't do the two anything. Get that in there. I'm going to, oh, that's annoying. I'm going to open up two tins of tomatoes. Now, one is chopped, which is amazing. That's what I always buy. This came in my delivery. It's peeled plum tomatoes. That's not what I want. And it hasn't got one of these um, open jar things. Oh, now I can't find my to open up. Well, this is the joy of not being prepared. Where's my tin opener? Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's open this now. I'm probably going to have to put my knife in and chop this up a bit because it's a, a full one. Now, if you're at home and joining in, I'm making something different because I know Gemma said she's going to be making something different. Let me know what you're doing. Okay, I'm just going to pour that in. I can cut it up later. Full tomatoes there. Amazing. Okay, and the curry powder. So, I'm going to put... One heaped tablespoon in and two. Brilliant. Okay, that lid can go on there. Let's get this here. Just gonna give it a little bit of a push down just so I can get the lid on. Now I'm gonna leave that for a bit. I'm not gonna worry about stirring it quite yet. Lid on because there's plenty of time for that, okay? So that's the slow cooker done. It is as simple as that. If you've got one, use it. If you haven't got one, get one. I massively recommend it. Okay, next up, we're going on to the, the beef one. So we're gonna be more around the hall. Now, before we get started on that, I'm gonna just cut my pepper. Uh, one of the girls, Gemma, said I taught her a much easier way of cutting her peppers than what she's been doing all of her life. So I literally go to the top on the head and slide down so that all the seeds are there. Okay, so I'm just gonna dice this up into small bits. So again, the eggs are just going nicely there. The people will go off soon for us. With this video as well, guys, because this group is gonna close tomorrow, I am gonna put them onto YouTube. So you can catch up with them then. Ah, oh, I can see there's a question being asked. You'll have to wait for me to chop these up and I will uh, join in with you. If you've got any nutrition questions, girls, ask them now. This is perfect time for me to be chatting with you and educating you. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, pan on the heat here. Get this nice and hot. A little bit of olive oil into the pan. And what we're going to need on this now, I've got 750 grams of minced beef, black eyed beans and half a tin of tomatoes on this because this is like more of a, a savoury beef thing. Also, uh, the 
stock coops that I use, I always get the Kalo or Kalo ones, organic beef one, this one is, okay? So, let's put some of the onions now in this pan. So just opening up the pack here. Sprinkle all the those in. Ah, perfect timing. Okay, so please get on my fridge. So I'm going to take the eggs off now and cold water straight away. So pour in that there. And we'll just leave these to the side in the cold water there to carry on with the, uh, the beef. Just pop that there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a bit of salt and pepper in the pan there. If you want to put some garlic in, do that. Um, I, don't, I don't get on well with garlic. I'm a little bit intolerant to it. Um, so I just stay away. So there's not many of my recipes that have got it in there. It's probably a little bit in this pan there. But what I find is when I eat it, it takes my energy away. Like I've got a food hangover. So like the next day, I'm like, oh. Like I'll feel a bit 7 out of 10 rather than 10 out of 10. So the um, best thing for me is just to avoid it. And the same with onions as well, especially if they're raw. They'll be okay in this meal for me. But I could never eat like spring onions or anything like that. They don't suit me at all. Okay, I'm going to put this, uh, this beef in here now. So, whoop. Lock that in. So give this a little bit of a smash up. So we're going to brown the mince now. Let that cook there for a bit. Whilst that's just going to brown off a bit, we're going to rinse off our black eyed beans. Kelly, will you show us what it looks like after it's cooked up? 100%, of course I will, no problem at all. Um, what I'll be doing is um, putting all of these into Tupperware containers um, afterwards, so it's just going to be literally a case of just grabbing them and getting it done. But yeah, as soon as it's all done, I'll show you. Um, so, well, and I'll be showing you all week, because I'll be showing everybody what we're going to be eating um, as the week goes on. Um, my next food delivery from Tesco is due on the 14th of April. And I'm hoping that a local shop by me is going to have some stuff for us to get some stuff. But Muscle Foods, check out Muscle Foods, guys, because that is like a, um, I think a lot of fitness people kind of know about that. Um, but it's not your typical, you know, Sainsbury's and Tesco's. So they'll do deliveries, which is all good. Right, okay. So I'm just going to keep going with this beef right here now. Give it a little stir. And like I said, girlies, if you haven't already gone onto my YouTube, then get on there, Tara Hammond Fitness. Subscribe, because I'm going to be putting all of these videos on there. The workouts are already on there, and this will go on there as well. And also, guys, I would love to invite you to join us in the Life Transformer plan. So... There's the membership site with a ton of stuff going on in there um, and all of my attention and focus is going to be going on the girls in that support group um, over the next couple of weeks because um, again I, I need to save some time to be doing my revision for my exam starting on Monday. And with the Life Transformer plan we've got a March challenge going on but the April one is going to be called Core 4. Now any of the girls that have done my 12 week plan, plan in the past know how amazing this is for gamifying um, things we need to do each day, scoring some little points, 
and get results. The girls have done incredible, um, lost, you know, loads of weight, got fitter, healthier, felt amazing just from doing some simple uh, core force. So that's what we're going to be starting on the 1st of April. Can't find my saucepan bit. I'll just use this for a sec. Okay, so I'm just going to take off the excess fat off this a second. Pour it into this container. to put into the fridge. These are going to be perfect for breakfast, lunch, snacks. Um, protein is so important in every meal, guys. And particularly if you get it at breakfast, you're going to give yourself a better chance for the rest of the day as well of making sure you hit your protein threshold. Now, when I say that, what you guys need to be working out, okay? So I'm going to give you some advice here. Get your weight in kilograms and times it by 1.2 and that's how much protein I recommend you guys aim for to help you to lose weight each day um, and make sure that you're feeling full, that you're not hungry and you're making good decisions with your food, okay? So note that down, you know, and this is all the type of educational stuff that you'd be learning in the Life Transformer plan. There is a video on everything. They're about two to three minutes long. You will feel so empowered. Like one of the girls said recently, you know, she's had a really bad relationship with food the whole of her life and at 38, I think she said, first time in her life she started to make informed decisions herself and being able to go up to a restaurant eat whatever she wants enjoy and continue to lose weight and this is what I want for everybody else as well is to get away from rigid diet plans you should not be following anything specific unless it's from a dietitian because if somebody writes something for you you've got the risk of getting um, uh, you know um, uh, a, a deficiency in anything you're gonna be ill you put your health in the hands of people that need to know what they're doing. It's so, so, so important. 
there's so many years, 10, 20, 30 years of deprogramming that needs to go on in people's minds because women have started their first diet when they were 16, 17 or 18 after watching their mother or their older sister or their auntie or whoever constantly dieting and weighing. So they started doing it and that's where the problem started. It is very toxic. It creates unhealthy relationships with food and we, we need to love eating food. We need fuel. There's two reasons why we eat, guys. Number one, to stay alive. So don't be scared of food. And the other one is for pleasure. We should be enjoying our food and we should be enjoying our lives. Losing weight, getting healthy, being happy, and looking back and thinking, oh, I'm loving my life. I'm doing all of these wonderful things now. I'm so full of energy. You know, look at how you speak to yourself. Look at how you respond to eating food. Look at how you talk about food. Like, don't go calling things cheat meals. Cheat meals is a horrible phrase and it encourages unhealthy relationships with food. Because you think that a burger and chips is a cheat meal equals bad, equals naughty, equals something you shouldn't be doing, and then you're gonna feel guilty after it. You know? So so look at how these conversations are in your mind and the things that you are doing on a daily basis. And these tiny little things that you do every single day, girlies, are what are going to compound and soon become amazing habits. So start as you mean to go on girlies. I hope that this seven day healthy habits at home week has given you food for thought, has made you realize you love being motivated, you love being supported, you love the feeling you have when you've got up and you've done something and you've learned something and you think in your mind, you know what? A year from now, I could imagine myself doing this. So invest in yourself. And this is why I'm going to invite you to please join us all in the Life Transformer plan and the support group over there. This is where girls have changed their lives. You saw maybe the picture of Gemma that we shared recently of November to now. She is amazing. And Claire and Sean, so many of the girls, so many of the girls that are in there. I can't like sit here and name them all for you right now, but they are invested in their lives and this is their lifestyle business as usual in there girlies you know it's it's not something for you to think oh i'm going to stop investing in myself now because how are you going to feel in four weeks time six weeks time eight weeks time 12 weeks time i said to deeks yesterday right you've been in isolation now for two weeks if you reflect back on what you've done over the last two weeks how do you feel do you feel happy do you feel like you've done everything you wanted to do and he said no no and because he hasn't done the things that you wrote down he was going to do. You know, we have actually been manic, and I have massively leaned on him to help out with Danny because, again, I have done more than ever the last couple of weeks. Um, but I'm happy, I wanted to do that, it was my purpose to do that, I, I couldn't not do it. Um, but at the same time, you know, I've got to protect my energy and my goals as well in the process so um, the next week or so hopefully will be a bit uh, better that I can you know have more time particularly to do my exams as well so I am actually looking at this time as the perfect time to be doing exams because I've got more time to be uh, doing my revision and stuff as well. So I will put the link in here later, girls. I would like to invite you. Can I just remind you as well, there is no contract, there is no commitment or anything. You could try it for a month and see if it's for you. And if you wanted to leave, that would be, you know, absolutely fine. You've got to do what makes you feel good. But the group is still open, girls, so we are not closing yet. If you've got any questions, take complete advantage. Complete advantage. Tag me, ask anything, absolutely anything. Tracy, best thing I done was join Tara's group. Tracy, you have done amazing. When did you join? It was the um, six week Christmas challenge, wasn't it? And yeah, mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. Emma, thanks for the like there. Look at you watching this. What are you doing? Did you join in then? Um, anyway, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna love you and leave you now, girlies. Um, this morning has been amazing. I don't know what's going on in the world and it's not because I don't care but it's because I haven't exposed myself to something that could make me feel down. So Dick's had a workout with one of his friends online, um, I've had a workout with everybody online, we've had some breakfast, what else did we do? I filmed the Swans workout hence why I've got this on, done this now, so so far I don't even know what time it is but I feel really productive. So do that as well girls. What can you be doing in your day? And I know it's Sunday, but every day is going to be the same now. So make every single day productive. Make it your day. Like call it whatever day you want. They don't exist like they used to now. They are new and they can be better as well. So 
I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go to the garden to see what the boys are doing. Um, I'm going to make sure this is simmering, tidy up my kitchen. And I know now that at least us here at home have a good couple of meals ready that we can just be grabbing hold of as the week goes on. And I really hope that you do it too. And even if you haven't got all of the ingredients for what I've just made right now, Put this video back on and just listen to me as you're doing your own thing. Because that took 25 minutes then to do. 25 minutes on a Sunday to save so much time on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Amazing. Please practice these healthy habits. And again, if you've got any questions, take complete advantage. Tag me and ask away. If you feel shy, inbox me. Ask away. See you later. Bye.